Backstage for Bastion Expose. I am here with one of the beloved designers, Corto. How are you? I'm great, I'm great. It's so good to be here. So tell me about your collection. Well, you know, my collection is always going to be reminiscent of the last one color, texture, and you know, a lot of African influence. And you know, clothes for real women, anywhere from a 2 to an 18 can wear it. So I try to represent women and what they want to wear, what they haven't seen in the stores, and you know, just be true to who I am. Okay, and then for the audience, what did you want them to take away with this collection that we saw? I just wanted it to be like a refreshing feeling. Oh, wow, something refreshing to see the color and the energy of the models with the fans and the bags and the jewelry and just take it all in and just see the beauty of it that you don't have to follow fashion's straight line of what it's supposed to be, that I went my own path and, you know, you can do that and, you know, take, take risks. Awesome. And how long did it take for this collection for you to put it all together? Last night, look. <laughs> Girl, you good. Well, you know, yeah. Well, you know, it's like an ongoing process. When you're designing, you're you're sewing up to the last minute. So, I mean, sometimes it takes a week. Sometimes it takes two weeks. Sometimes it takes two or three months. So, it's definitely something I add pieces to as I go along. And then I'm showing the same collection for L.A. Fashion Week. So, I actually have like six pieces to add to this for L.A. So, it's like a growing thing. All right. So, you hinted at L.A. Fashion Week. So, what's next for you after you've left us from Boston? Well, after LA, I'm after boss, I'm going to LA, and then um, I'm going to take a break. I'm tired. You've been working so hard. You deserve one, though. No, I'm going to take a break and focus on my jewelry and my handbag line that's coming out in Dillard's next year. Oh, nice. So you're in a store already yeah. for your uh, yeah. accessories. So launching in February. I'm so proud of that. And um, just working on those pieces, I want them to be different. They'll be different from the purses that you saw tonight. But um, you'll definitely, you know, in the fall, see that classic hobo that I always carry with the horn. And okay. yeah. And what's the name of that accessories line? It's just going to be my name, Kata Mama Lou, exclusively for dealers. And then, you know, we'll branch off to the Macy's and the Nordstrom's and, you know, everybody else. But Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So where can we see, like, more of your work? Do you have a website that all the fans can check yeah. you out each time? Definitely my website is www.katomomalu.com. I'm on Facebook and Twitter. And I try to keep everything on my website friendly for everybody to see where I'm going to be, what state. So if you're in that state, come see me. And, you know, I do reply my own emails. You know, I try to be very hands down and stay true and stay grounded and, and you know, that real person. You'll, you'll see the same person every time you meet me. Awesome, awesome. So, Corto, it's been a pleasure. And thank you so thank you. much. All the best. And have fun tonight with yes. um, Boston Fashion Week and the after party. I will. I will. I plan to. All right. Thank it's you. Flat.